welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to discuss about lr of zero parsing okay to construct lr of zero parsing there are various steps involved in parsing what are the steps we will see okay first step for the given input string write context free grammar okay for the given input string write context free grammar and the next step is check the ambiguity of the grammar okay check the ambiguity of the grammar ambiguity means creating more than one parser okay generating more than one parser is the ambiguity okay check whether there is an ambiguity or not okay and the third step is add argument production add argument production in the given grammar so what is argument production argument production means to identify when to stop the parser and announce the acceptance of string okay that is argument production so how you will write argument production for example this is our given grammar okay this is our given production rules okay for this production rules you need to add a single production rule okay you need to add one more production rule to this production rules how you will write so here we are starting with yes so for argumenter production you need to write yes dash for argument production you need to write yes dash tends to yes okay if the argument if the if your productions are started with a at that time you need to write a dash tends to a okay that is a argument production so in this production rules your production rules are started with yes so you need to write yes dash tends to yes this will be your argument production okay and next step is create the canonical collection of lr of zero items okay next step is create canonical collection of lr of zero items what is this lr of zero items i will clearly explain you in the example okay and next step is draw a data flow diagram okay after creating canonical collection items you need to draw the data flow diagram and the final step is you need to construct lr of zero parsing table this parsing table is more important in this parsers okay because only the difference will be in lr of zero parsing table okay you have four par four types right you have four types of parsers that are lr parser slr parser clr parser and lr parser okay in this four parsers entire construction is same but there is a small difference that is in parsing table so the final step is construct the lr of zero parsing table okay we will see one example for this lr of zero parser okay see now this is the example for lr of zero parsing s tends to a s tends to terminal a and non terminal capital a and another product production and another production a tends to b okay here you have three production rules right and you need to construct the parser enter now see first step what is the first step you need to know this is a context free grammar or not okay so, s tends to a a a tends to a a and b this is a context free grammar okay and with this production rules we cannot create more than one ambig one parse tree okay so there is no ambiguity that is a second step so the first step is s tends to capital a and capital a that are the non terminals a tends to terminal a and non terminal b and a tends to terminal b so this is the context free grammar and in step 2 there is no ambiguity that means in this production rules there is no ambiguity so we cannot create more than one parser okay and the third step is you need to write a production rule argument production okay you need to add the argument production as you have said already it is started our production rules are started with s so we are writing 
s dash tends to s as a argument production we are adding this as a argument production and uh, these are the already given production rules okay in the fourth step we are creating canonical collection items okay create canonical collection of l or of zero items okay and l or of zero item is a production of g with dot at some position on the right hand side of the production that means we need to add a dot to the production rules okay that will be our canonical collection items okay and L or of zero item is useful to indicate that how much of input has been scanned up to a given point in the process of passing. Okay, and the next thing is L or of zero we replace the reduce node in entire row. Okay, in I have said already here only the parsing table will be different in the parsers. Okay, so. Here we can see L or of zero. We will re we will place the reduce nodes in a entire row in the parsing table. Okay. So now we will see how the data flow diagram constructed. Okay. See. Next we need to construct the data flow. Diagram. Okay. Next, we need to construct the data flow diagram. First, we need to write the canonical collection items. Okay. What are the canonical collection items? I have already said you. We need to write dot in our production rules. Okay. So s dash tends to dot s s dash tends to dot a a s dash tends to dot a a dot b. These are our canonical collection items. Okay, and we need to shift our dot to the next position, and we need to complete the reduce. Okay, how we will construct? We will see now. See, s yes dash tends to s is our augmented production. So the data flow. This is the data flow. Okay, and here s s yes dash tends to dot s. The data flow. That means our dot should move one step to the right side to the production. Okay, that means yes dash tends to yes dot. So here it is moved only one step. That means any other non-terminal or terminal we don't have in the first production, right? So here the reduce is completed. Okay, that means in the augmented grammar we have completed a reduce. Okay. And next we have s tends to dot a a. Okay, here here we are taking a non-terminal. That means after the dot we have non-terminal. So we need to move to the non-terminal a with the non-terminal a. A. So we need to move only one step forward. Okay. So s determines a dot a. That means after the dot we have again one non-terminal. So if we have another one non-terminal to the dot next side, so at that time we need to write the production rule which are presented with this non-terminal. Okay, with this non-terminal, what are the productions are there in the i not position? So that non-terminals also included in this. Node, okay. That that non-terminals should also included in this node, and after that, in the next production, see in the next production, a tends to dot a a. Here we have a terminal, right? So we should move with the terminal a. So a tends to a a dot a. Only one step forward, okay, and. After that, again we have a non-terminal. With this non-terminal, what are the production rules are there? We need to include that production rules also. So a tends to dot a a and a tends to dot b. Those production rules we have included in this node. Okay, and again this is also one production rule, right? So a tends to dot b. So we need to move one step forward. So we are taking the b as a data flow and a tends to b dot it is moved one step forward okay and here 
there is no terminal or non terminal present at the after the dot so this here also we have completed the reduce okay that means here one production is completed and in the next step and in the next step again we need to consider here a dot here c a dot a that means our production rule is not completed yet so again we need to take one non terminal so here because here we have non terminal so we are moving with the non terminal so s tends to a a dot so one step forward we have taken so s tends to a a dash here again the production rule is completed because no non terminal and terminal is presented at the after the dot right so here also our production is completed and next thing and next thing a tends to here we need to see again in this production in this node only we need to check again a tends to dot a slash dot b right so one step before means what we will get a dot a right so already we have a dot a in this node so we need to take self loop here okay with the a right with the a we need to take self loop and again consider with the b and check with b so it will move one step forward to the b right so it will become b dot so here already we have b dot a tends to b dot so we need to take again self loop okay right you have completed this self loop self loop you have completed a dot a self loop and dot b self loop and next you need to check with a a dot right a a dot so you need to move with a right so a a dot you are moving so a tends to a a dot is a another node so here after the dot you don't have any of the terminal or non terminal so here also your production rule has been completed and again see you have taken this a tends to a dot a right so with the variable a so a dot a again you need to check this production also this this is for this right a tends to a a this is for this one and you need to check this both also again so a tends to a a dot right this variable you need to take again self loop this only no a dot a that means already you have in same node so you are taking self loop and again check with a tends to b dot here b dot means again you have another node you can take here self loop right so now everything is completed so we have came to the end of the production rules okay dot has pre uh, presented at the end of the productions okay here you have completed the reduce com uh, reduce and you here one production here one production and here one production you have completed okay next you need to na name it as these things you need to name it as i not i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 okay you have named this like this okay and next thing you need to name them as for the non terminals you need to write go to and for the terminals you need to write shift this is for the this indication is for parsing table okay here you need to indicate like this because you will uh, write free uh, easily in parsing table okay you can write easily parsing table if you write like this okay for the non terminals you need to write go to and for the terminals you need to write shift okay so here it is a non terminal i have taken go to here it is a non terminal i have taken go to here these are the terminals so i have taken shift shift is nothing but action okay Sh uh, sh you can indicate shift or you can indicate action okay but you need to check whether it is a terminal or non terminal for non terminals you need to take go to and for terminals you need to take shift or action okay so next the sixth step is you need to construct lr of zero parsing table okay how you will construct you will see now see 
if a state is going to some other state on a terminal then it is corresponded to shift move i have already said you terminal means you need to write shift okay and if a state is going to some other state on a variable variable is nothing but non terminal okay then it is corresponded to go to move okay here you can take shift or action okay but here you need to take go to okay and if the state contains the final state if the state contains the final item in the particular row then write the reduce node completed okay you need to write reduce node completed see here first you need to take states action and go to these states are nothing but i not i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 okay states so now you need to write a table for state action and go to okay here states are nothing but these states okay states are nothing but i not i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 okay these are the states okay and action action uh, action is nothing but you need to take terminals and dollar is for to know the end of the string we are writing dollar okay to however we will write to know the end of the string we will take dollar so that dollar you need to represent here okay and in go to you need to write non terminals those are a and s which are presented in our production rules okay these are presented in our production rules so now you have taken six states i not i1 i2 i3 i4 i5 i6 okay from i not with terminal a okay here you need to check i not i not with terminal a okay where it is moving with a the data flow you need to check the data flow here okay so from i not terminal a terminal a it is moving towards i3 that means i3 means it is a terminal right so we need to write shift so you need to represent it as shift 3 so yes 3 so here we need to write so here we need to write s3 see i have written s3 and with i not with terminal b i not with terminal b it is moving towards i4 with shift so this is shift right so we need to write s4 okay i have written s4 and i not with non terminal capital a okay non terminal a it is going towards i2 right i2 for go to statements we need to write only numerical values okay we need to we need to write only numerical values so i have written 2 and with i not with non terminal s i not with non terminal s it is moving towards i1 so this is also go to so only you need to write so this is also non terminal so you you need to write only numerical value so i have written 1 okay and so from i1 with a there is so this is the reduce complete node so you need to write at the dollar place in the dollar place you need to write i1 as accept okay i1 in the dollar place you need to write accept because it is a augmented production rule here our reduce is completed so you need to write accept and with you need to check next i2 okay next check with i2 i2 with variable a i2 with variable a
so you need to check now with i2 with terminal a it is moving towards i3 that means s3 and i2 with b that means terminal b it is moving towards i4 that means s4 so with a s3 and with b s4 so you need to write s3 s4 so here i have here i have written i2 with a s3 i2 with b s4 again you need to check with i2 with non terminal a i2 with non terminal a i i2 with non terminal a it is going towards i5 so this is this is a go to statement so we need to write as phi only numerical okay here i have write, written phi see here i have written phi and you need to check with i3 state i3 state with variable a i3 with variable a and i3 with variable b you need to check okay i3 i3 with a it is moving towards self loop that means you need to write s3 only and i3 with b it is moving towards s4 i4 that means you need to write s4 okay so here check i have written s3 and s4 okay again you need to check with i3 with non terminal a here you need to check with non terminal a i3 with non terminal a it is going towards i6 that means you need to write only the numerical value 6 okay so here i have written 6 right here i have written 6 so next i4 you need to check i4 see i4 is the final state right that means here we have completed reduce complete state and i5 is the reduce complete state and i6 is also the reduce complete state here how you need to write the reduce complete i will tell you here i4 i5 i6 these all are the final states because our reduce has been completed here okay our reduce has been our reduce has been completed here so how you need to write this r3 r1 r2 i will tell you so you need to write reduce in the entire row okay here i have written in the entire rows right so how you need to write this these are the these all are our production rules these all are our production rules consider this as first production second production and third production here you need to you here you don't need to add s dash tends to s that is a augmented production that you need to here you need to write only this productions only augmented production you don't need to write okay so here here in the here in i4 you have completed a tends to b dot right here this is this is considered as third production right so you need to write r3 okay so here you see this is the third production and in i4 you have completed so in the entire row you need to write r3 okay right you have understood we need to write these productions as first one second and third okay name it as 1 2 3 and a tends to b dot as completed in i4 so you need to write as it is represented as 3 you need to write r3 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 in the entire row okay so don't write in go to state states okay only write in the actions part okay so next i5 in i5 the first production that means s tends to a a has been completed right so you need to write in entire row r1 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 and in the next i6 state you have completed the second production reduce completed so you need to write in the entire row r2 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 okay this is a parsing table okay how you need to write i have explained you clearly okay next you need to parse the input string how you will do i will tell you right okay so parsing input string the next step is parsing input string so input is a a b b dollar dollar is to know the end of the string we have included dollar that's it okay our string is a a b b okay in the first step okay first you need to take steps parsing stack input and action first step take one dollar 0 in the zero 
dollar zero and write the input as it is a b b b dollar okay at the zero state what is zero and a okay you need to consider i not and a so check what is happening here i not with variable a what is there here shift 3 so you need to write shift a 3 so this a, a will be shifted here okay so write in the second step dollar this 0 will be as it is here this a 3 will be shifted here a 3 and this input string is a b b dollar because one a is shifted right so a b b dollar and you need to check again with a3 right a3 3 means this thing okay i3 and input and the terminal a here again we are going towards shift 3 so again you need to write shift a3 okay Again, this A3 should be shifted to here. Okay. In the third step, dollar, this A3 will be as it is and this A3 will be shifted here. Okay. Again, this input string BB dollar is as it is. Again, you need to check third position B. Okay. Third position B. Third position B. That is S4. So, you need to write shift 4. Okay. You need to write shift 4. So, you need to write as shift B4. Why? Because we are writing B means here you checked with 3 with B, right? So, you need to write shift B4. So, again this B4 will be shifted here. So, one B is shifted, right? So, here it is a, another B remaining. So, again you need to check with B. So, here 4 B, right? So, in I4, b what is there Re reduce there so you need to write reduce r3 so here i have written reduce r3 that is the production is a tends to b okay the production is a tends to b again after this you need to write this thing so here you you can write this b as a right because the production rule is a so this a3 a3 as it is we, sh we need to write this b4 is considered as a tends to b right so this a will be written here a and the numerical value will be written with this value okay by looking at this value okay 3 i3 you need to check i3 with a i3 with a so what is there in i3 i3 with a that means 6 you have 6 ok so you need to the, write the numerical value here because you have written this a only but you have not written b4 right so for this a you need to write a and you need to write this 6 as you need to check i3 with non terminal a we have a numerical value 6 so i have written a6 ok so this b dollar input is as it is and again you need to check i6 with b so you need to check i6 with b i6 with b means here we have written reduce r2 so r2 we have written so here we need to write reduce r2 so this in reduce r2 which production rule we have completed here a tends to a a so this a and this a is there here right so this entire thing is considered as a so we can write this as a so a3 a3 is as it is and this a and capital a is in this production so we have written this as a and again you need to check with the i3 i3 with the non terminal a how you have written this 6 i am telling okay a i3 a c again i3 capital a numerical value 6 right so i have written 6 here okay so i have written 6 here so 0 and this input is as it is b dollar and again at the position i6 
with B. You need to check with B. So, here also we have completed R2. Reduce R2. Okay. Reduce R2. And this R2 also contains A tends to AA. Okay. And the production rule here is AA. Again, here we can replace this A and this A with the A. Right. So, 0 A. Again, you need to check capital A with 0. Okay. I not position. C, I not position with non-terminal A. Here we have written 2. Non-terminal, uh, here we have written numerical 2. So, I have taken here 0, A2. 0, A2. So, this B dollar will be as it is. And in the I, A2 means I2. We need to check I2. I2, B. I2, B that is shift B4. So, we, there we have S4. So, we need to write shift B4. Again, look here. 0, A2, this B4 will be shifted here. Okay. And at the I4 position, there our reduce has been completed again. So, this doll, after shifting the B, here we have only dollar. And here, in at I4 position, we have completed the reduce, right? So, I have written reduce R3. Which production? A tends to B. So, this is a reduce complete. And again, this will be 0, A2. This B can be written as A, right? A. Again, you need to check A, I2 with the non-terminal A. I2. C. I2 with the non-terminal A. Here we have 5. So, so, here I have written A5. So, Again, I5, you need to check. In I5, again, we have completed reduce, right? Reduce completed with the first production. So, this is the first production. And now, you can write this as, 10th step is dollar. You can write this as 0, A2 and A5. That means AA, right? That means S. So, S is as it is and dollar. So, 0 S means, there we can see, 0 with the non-terminal S, we have first in the numerical value, right? Dollar. That means the first step we have accept C. Here, I1 with the dollar, we have accept. Okay? So, you can see here. So, you can see here, I1, the S1 is nothing but you need to write as I1 dollar accept. So, our string is accepted. What is our string? A, A, B, B. Right? This is our string. A, A, B, B is accepted. So, so already we have four types of parsers. Right? L, R, S, L, R, C, L, R and L, A, L, R. Right? So, L, R, S, L, R uses canonical collection of L, R of zero items. And C, L, R, L, R, L, A, L, R uses L, L, R. LR of one canonical collection of items, right? So, this entire process is same, but only the parsing table reduce complete we will write differently, okay? How we will write in LR of zero, we will write in entire row, okay? In entire row. Whereas in SLR1, you will write in follow of production of P. That means follow of A or follow of S. What will the production? Depends on production, okay? You will write the reduce in the follow of production P. And CLR and LALR, you will write the reduce in look ahead, okay? You will write in look ahead, okay? For this, okay, now for this uh, input string, we will, we need to draw the pass table, okay? As I said you, this is the bottom-up approach. How you will construct means first the root node S yes. and for the S production we will select A, A, A and this A will be terminal A and this will be uh, A and B. Here A, A and B. You need to check with the bottom A, A, B, B. Right? Here you need to check our string. So our string is satisfied A, A, B, B. Okay? This is the bottom up approach. This is our parse tree, okay? Thank you.